Since last year, one word has become more popular than ever. AI, 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 generative AI. As a result, the laptop market is now flooded with devices claiming to offer various AI capabilities. But if you filter out all the noise, you'll find that data science and machine learning involve two main components. For example, let's say you want to create an AI chatbot that answers all motorcycle related questions for your shop. To do that, you'll first need to gather raw data on motorcycles, analyze and refine it, run multiple tests to validate its accuracy, and then use this clean and meaningful data set to fine tune an existing LLM such as Llama and many others. The entire process is broadly divided into two parts. Number one, data analytics. This involves sorting raw data, analyzing it, and structuring it into a refined format suitable for training. And number two, fine tuning the LLM. Using this process data to train an existing LLM by providing it with context, adjusting its weights and biases, and ultimately creating a customized model that can be deployed on AWS or any other cloud for customers to use and interact with. As a result, the laptop required for task number one and task number two have very different hardware requirements. For task number one, you need a laptop which focuses on CPU power, RAM and storage. It need not be a heavy bulking workstation as it can be even a thin and light laptop with decent cooling. Its CPU needs to have a high core count and good clock speed. It also needs to have at least 32 gigabytes of RAM if it is going to handle large datasets and at least one terabyte of NVMe storage. Now for task number two, you do need a faster CPU, enough RAM and more storage, but you also need a good GPU with good VRAM. And the total system memory needs to be at least 64 GB and around two terabyte of storage and a very capable cooling system to keep everything cooled down. Now, one problem you are going to run into when looking for laptop for task number two is GPU VRAM. Because short of an RTX 4090, no laptop GPU currently offers more than 16 GB VRAM. Now, this is where Apple MacBooks come into clutch because they use a unified memory architecture in which both the CPU and the GPU share the same memory pool. And you can configure MacBooks with up to 128 gigs of memory very easily. Now, apart from these factors, both these kind of laptops need to have a good display with minimum bezels, probably in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Because you are going to be working with a lot of data, so you need to be able to see more of it. And these laptops also need to have a good and comfortable keyboard to type on. And it is good that if they also have good speakers as well, so you can use these machines for media consumption too. Chalo. With that said, let's take a look at the various laptops on the list. For around 1.08 lakh, you can get the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 featuring the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H, which is a 16 core processor with 22 threads, meaning we have plenty of cores. We also have 32 GB LPDDR5X RAM, 1 terabyte SSD and 1.4 kg of weight. On top of that, it has a 2.8K OLED display in a 14-inch portable form factor. All in all, it is an almost perfect laptop for the price range. Next up for data analysis, you can also consider the 14-inch M4 MacBook Pro. Just remember to upgrade it to 32 gigs of system memory and 1 terabyte of storage. MacBooks, as we all know, have fantastic memory management, great build quality and pretty powerful hardware. Getting one might set you back initially, but for the long-term performance, it will make up for it. Up next for data analysis, you can also consider the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition. Featuring the Intel Core Ultra 7 258B, 32 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte storage. The laptop will set you back rupees 1.49 lakh and it is a pretty great laptop and the one which I am personally using nowadays and it also provides you with great battery life and amazing keyboard and just overall really awesome value for money. Next up is the Lenovo Look featuring 13650HX and an RTX 4060 with 8GB GDDR6 VRAM along with 24GB of system RAM which is also upgradable. Now, this laptop can be used for data analysis and it can also be used to run small LLMs locally thanks to a dedicated GPU. Small is because the VRAM over here is only 8GB. 
and similarly for an RTX 4070 laptop you can get the Asus ROG Strix G16 featuring 13650HX, 16GB upgradable RAM and 1TB of storage and a great cooling system. For rupees 1.49 lakh, just like the Lok, the ROG Strix G16 too can be used for both data analysis and running small LLMs locally. Basically, the idea is that if the machine isn't too expensive, then you can consider it for both kind of workloads. The main disadvantage these machines will have over the thin and light ones will be battery life, on battery performance and portability. If you can compromise with these factors, then you can skip the thin and light ones to go with the chunky laptops for data analysis workloads. Chalo, moving on. And when we talk about RTX 4080 and 4090 laptops, then we are specifically talking about fine-tuning LLM workloads because these are pretty expensive. And considering how much the RTX 4080 laptops are priced for, I would recommend skipping them because you will probably have to shell Rs 2.49 lakh to get one. And for just a little bit more at 2.85 lakh, you can get the MSI Raider GE68HX featuring the RTX 4090 with 16GB GDDR6 VRAM. Next up is not a laptop but just as portable. I am talking about a mini PC, the M4 Mac Mini. And for a very specific reason. Because in 2024, for just Rs 59,000, it is the most budget-friendly PC out there. But most importantly, Apple features unified memory. Matlab, both the CPU and GPU can use the available memory depending upon the need. So instead of buying even a desktop RTX 5090 for around Rs 2 lakh which will only give you 32GB of RAM, you can easily configure a Mac Mini with 64GB of memory for around 2 lakhs, which is also dynamic. Matlab, if your GPU needs more than 32GB, it will easily take it from the memory pool. And it goes without saying but the top spec M4 Mac Mini is also great for fine tuning LLMs locally. In the same beat, next up is the 16-inch M4 MacBook Pro, which you can configure with up to 128 gigs of memory for around 4.9 lakh. And I know it sounds expensive, but it is the most cheapest way to get your hands on 128 gigs of VRAM. Because an RTX 5090 caps out at 32 gigs, and Nvidia H100s are not readily available in India, and they too cap out at just 80 GB. So when you think of all that, configuring a 16-inch MacBook Pro with 128 gigs of memory for 5 lakh rupees sounds pretty reasonable. So these were some of the laptops and one mini PC which you can easily consider if you are a data science and machine learning student. I know the video was a bit comprehensive, but I wanted to make sure that I covered every bit possible. If you still have any query, then comment down below and I will try to answer it as easily as I can. Thank you so much for watching this far. My name is Ritnesh Tobey and I will see you guys next time.